boy. It's your, it's your boy, King Rando. You know. Twist the knife, why don't you? Twist the knife, why don't you? See, y'all could have told me, you know, you might want to skip this episode. You know, you might want to skip the episode. Grownish. Episode 3. If you're reading this, it's too late. Review. Right now. Yeah. Take me to the truth. What the hell? Really? Really? Alright, I'm cool now. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Cause you know, I'm 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 gonna be alright. I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna be alright, man. You know, I want you feel, I want to bother. <laughs> I want bother about it. No, I don't want. I want bother about it. About the episode at all. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna be alright. I'm gonna be alright. Let's get into this review. <laughs> Y'all could have told me, you know, you might not want to watch the video. You might not wanna. Oh yeah, y'all missed me live tweeting. Cause I did live tweet. So y'all gonna live tweet with me next week, right? Put in the comment section if y'all gonna live tweet with me. Cause we gonna go through this together. And I hope it's not another episode like this. This episode was fast paced. Like really fast paced. Like really, like this is something that could have been covered in an hour, but it, they did it in 30 minutes. And it was a good episode. It was a good episode. It wasn't a good episode for me. But it was a good episode for them. It was entertaining when it wasn't killing me. It was, uh, but I, I can't even. Oh God, I enjoyed the episode for what it was. But it, it was a little fast paced for me. But I kind of liked it. But at the same time, you know, it's kind of like you kind of should space that out because I was right. I was right about the triangle. I was right about it. So y'all could have like spaced, like y'all could have drew that out a little bit more that triangle thing instead of like. Kind of, I feel like it was a little bit rushed into, but at the same time, it's like, you know, college, so that's what's gonna happen, I guess. Y'all better be prepared, or if you already went through it, y'all know what's happening. Y'all know, because y'all probably went through it too. Uh, Zoe, throw, 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 throw the phone away. Please throw the phone away. Throw, throw the phone away. Just like, chuck it. Whenever you feel like texting, just chuck it. Don't, don't text. You are banned from texting ever in your life. Terrible. You're terrible. But let's get into the um, actual stuff that happened in the story. It started off with the famous, infamous, you up text. Now, you know, this, 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 this was the funniest part of the episode to me. And it happened like in the first five minutes. So uh, Aaron sent her the um, you up text. She got all her girls with her. And then she was like, you know, what does this mean? What does the you up text mean? And they all like, you know, um, well, y'all like have hooked up before. And she's like, you know, um, yeah, we've hooked up. And they're like, you know, what's your definition of that? And she's like, you know, uh, just fooling around and all that. And they're like, you know, that's that's not what it means. Because it's 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 really not what it means. Like, what is that to y'all? What is it to y'all? Because I really want to know this. I really want to know because if y'all thinking what she thinking, Y'all want some other stuff. And uh, Anna, you are the, you know, you keep that spirit, okay? You keep that spirit because you are just a bowl of s sunshine and rainbows. Like, there is, like, you are just, you are great. You could be my daughter. You could be my daughter because the other people know, no, you can't be my daughter. Uh -uh. Also, Skylar and Jaslyn, the fifth grade. Lou Rico, the fifth grade? The fifth grade? What? I don't know what y'all was on in fifth grade, but in fifth grade, you know, I was all about sports and all that stuff. Lil Rico, bro, you was ahead of your time, and y'all shouldn't have been, you know what? Actually, y'all, keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing, because you know what? It's just like, ah, uh, it's just, uh, keep doing it, because I, I love the enthusiasm. It's so great. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, Anna, you are stuck in a fairy tale. And I just, I just love it because everything that comes out your mouth is so PG. It's so PG and they're just so, like, T 
TV 14 rated R and you just like you get you get the there are people like you and it is so funny and I just love your character and um also no me you you probably want my favorite girl character on this show you really are because you are just your punchlines are so funny she brought her you up girl with her she brought her with her. That's she is a savage. She is savage. I mess with her. And uh Aaron, bro, why you stressing? Why you stressing, bro? Just give it time, cause you saw what happened later on in the episode. She went crazy. Just give it time, man. You know, you don't gotta stress. And Vivek, what what are you doing? You got the nudie bank all wrong. You got it all wrong. Dude, it's supposed to be what they send to you, you don't send it to them. But you know, to each his own D thing, that's cool. I'ma have mine the way I have mine. You do what you doing. Um, and don't go to your teacher. Please, don't ask your teacher that, cause that is <laughs> Charlie, what are you? And you bogus too, Charlie, cause like dude, you coulda you coulda like came up with a better name than Trevec. Cause we all know it's Vavec. And um the chemistry between Luca and Aaron is just gold. They are just, oh, you can't get it. Like, they hate each other. And it's so epic because it's just like, dude, when they was talking about each other, that was, I think that was the funniest part of the episode because Luca punchlines is just, they are just golden. He talking about, <laughs> oh, he trying to be a redneck and be black. That was the funniest punchline of the episode. And uh, back to Zoe texting, please stop. Because you went through marriage, you went through moving to Carolina, kids, AJ Jr., family, your family illnesses, and you know, you, you, you broke up with him, but y'all weren't together, and it's just like, you know, please, please stop. Please stop. Throw the phone away, like I said in the beginning. Throw the phone away, because you definitely don't need it. And, um, I called it. I called it. Last re last review, I called that. I said it was going to be a love triangle. I said it was going to be Zoe, Luca, Aaron. I said it because I, I, I just, I know these things. It was planted in the first two episodes. Like, it just was planted when he was like, I vibe with you. I'm like, you know what? There's the triangle. And it happened a lot sooner. That's why I said it was fast paced. You could have stretched this out for a couple more episodes and had like Aaron do something wrong and then her finally, you know, go to Luca. Instead of like cl making them clash right now. But I love the comedy that that brought. Because that was just amazing. And um, Zoe, you need to upgrade your playing skills. Think of it like 2K. Think of it like 2K. You get a badge if you, you know, excel in some areas. So you need to upgrade your stuff. You need to get a badge. You need to, you know, max that badge. Get get get, get all gold badges, you know. Up upgrade your, upgrade your uh, 2K rating because you, your rating is terrible. How you... But the, the only thing that might get you, like, a little upgraded is your evasive skills because you was whoop, dodging, dodging, dodging. And I swear to God, this was like a role reversal. It was a role reversal because think about it. I hate to, you know... Make stereotypes and all that, but did, didn't y'all think it was should have been like kind of reversed the way Zoe was playing them? Like, cause it it, it usually don't go like that, or does it? I, you know what? At this point, I really don't know, because it would just seem like a really role reversal when you see that stuff happening. You think like it's the dude and then two girls. You don't think it's a girl and then two dudes, because I sure didn't think that. Not in my experiences, but you know what? Not even in my experience, because you know I never had that, you know, it's always one, always one, right? Yeah. And he was not subtweeting you. The rose is just a rose. It's just an emoji. You weren't the rose. Actually, who is the rose? Y'all tell me in the comment section. Who is the rose? So basically the episode ended because she got caught up. That's why I told her she got to upgrade her player badges. She got caught up. And she got caught up on the stupidest thing. You look before you answer a call. You look before you answer a Skype, one. And two, like, why would he call you back, like, two minutes after you y'all just hung up with each other? Like, it was literally, like, two minutes. Like, I'm, if you say get in the shower, you know, you give a, at least a 15 to 25 minute window before you call or text again. Like, that was, that was on some thirsty stuff, man. He was on some thirsty stuff. But she got caught up, and that was the um, redneck and black thing. The exchange was just so golden. Like, I swear. Noni's jokes, and then 
Luca and Aaron clashing are just it's just golden. I just love it because it's just like their chemistry together. It just brings it up that much. Like I really wouldn't be surprised if they didn't like each other in person because that was like very, very, very realistic. So she got caught up and you know she was kind of like you know she was kind of bummed about it so she opened up to a person that i really didn't think she would ever open up to her dean like who opens up to the dean like really that's like you know you're just telling your business to basically to a principal or something like that but she did and he actually gave her great advice like great advice it's just you know communication fixes all that stuff and the key to communication is it, it is no key it's you know, it's just what you do. It's what you have to experience for yourself. And I'm like, dang, man, you wise. And he's just saying, like, you know, you should just be honest with them and, you know, be be truthful. And at the end of the episode, you know, everybody who got those you up texts and uh, want to smash texts, they were honest with the other person, even though those were kind of hilarious because it's like, you know, one of them was like, you should get checked. I'm like, hold on, pause. Pause, cause I know y'all saw that. I know y'all saw that. I'm like, huh? You need to get checked. Go, go, go. <laughs> that was funny. But overall, I love this show because it was like it was fast paced, but in a good way. And oh, I'm leaving out the um the last thing, the last part of the episode. So she swore off like men and all that stuff, but then she meets a basketball player, and it's like nothing changed. So. I didn't really see the, well, I, I saw the point, but it's just like, you know, could have waited to the next episode uh, to do that. Uh, it was, but the episode was fast paced, it was fast paced in a good way. I liked it because of the fast pacedness, but I feel like if they would have stretched it out, it would have been better told. And they could have had like um, more moments of Luca trying to get into that mix, you know. She should have had her chasing him a little bit more like they did in the second episode. And then him like, you know, skip him or whatever and all that stuff. And then and then had it going to the triangle thing when he finally starts to like her. And then she finally starts to like him. But then she realizes that Aaron likes her. So she started liking both of them. And then that's where you get the, the, the great dialogue between Aaron and Luca. That's where you get it. Uh, but overall, if I had to rate this episode, I'd probably give it up. Actually, I, I'd give it a zero. A zero, but in all seriousness, probably a eight, eight point two, eight point three. I'm not gonna give it an eight point five because it just like it just stuck the knife and it just started twisting me. It just started twisting me. <laughs> I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt at all. <laughs> I'm not hurt. But it's me, boy, King Brando, and um, I will see y'all next week when we live tweet the show again. Um, sorry, I gave y'all that. Um, that reminder about it too late, uh, but we are. I am live tweeting next week. We will watch the show again, cause you know we're going through the whole series. As long as it's gonna be up, we're gonna be watching it. We're gonna be reviewing it. So it's been your boy King Brando. See y'all next week. I'll comment down below what team are y'all. Are y'all team Luca or team Aaron? Uh, comment which one y'all are. I am team neither. I am team. You know what? Y'all keep that in real life. I am team me. Okay, team me. Uh, it's been your boy King Brando. Make sure y'all like this video, subscribe to the channel, uh, click that post notification so y'all can see next week when the video comes out, right when it comes out. But it's been your boy King Brando. Peace. Yeah.